Hey everyone, Trina here. Today I'm going to be making a watercolor sketchbook using a kettle stitch that I learned from a young woman online called Letters of Mia. And I'll leave a link to that below. So first you're going to get your watercolor paper. I'm using 9x12 Canson. And I want these pages to be 4x4. Four four. So cut your paper. And I'm cutting these down to... 8 inches wide and then uh, two more cuts on the long side to make um, four by eight sheets. So we can get two pages from this. So we're going to trim the paper. Next thing you're going to want to do, I used um, 16 of these because I wanted to have at least a 30 page book with a little extra <clears throat> for a monthly kind of watercolor book. Then you're going to want to fold the pages into half and I suggest that you get a bone folder or use a wooden spoon to get these pages pretty, depending on how stiff your watercolor paper is, you're going to want to make sure that they're folded evenly and uh, have a really good fold to them. So once you have your signatures all folded, you're going to want to put them together somehow, like with a binder clip. You're going to want to measure out your places where you're going to put the um, poke the holes through the signatures so we can stitch them together. I'm just doing one inch, one inch in for my 4x4 four four sheets. Um, so we're just going to do two. <coughs> Next, you're going to want to Take a book or some books or something to keep your signatures level and you're going to use a, I'm using a, a push pin to poke holes in and this is going to be where we put the thread through which is going to make it a lot easier. And here I am using a cord and these embroider needles and you don't need to tie a knot, you just need to start through the top right side. And you're going to want to leave about two inches here and then go through the bottom part with your first signature and you're going to grab your second signature and you're going to go through the top left and pull that through and then go to the right and pull that through. Now you're going to tie this into a knot. I used a double knot here, or maybe a triple knot, but I think I used a double knot. Um, so this will be tied off, and then you'll trim off the little extra piece of cord. And that's how we start our book. So now we've got two. Take your third plat or signature from the top right and put it through and then go under on the left. Now you're going to go under that first loop we made and then you're gonna tie it, go through the loop here like that. And you've got another knot. So basically we're making a series of knots. Take your next signature, go through the top left and back through the right like we did before. And then again, you're going to want to go under the last signature that you made and loop it around and then go through the loop. Really easy, really easy step. So you're gonna to wanna to do this with all of your signatures until you have the final piece done. 
And when you get to the end, you're just going to um, make a knot and you'll be done. Remember to go under the last one and through the loop. It really is super easy. So now we've got all of our signatures bound up. I'm gonna use my big binder clip again. And I'm gonna take some glue and we're gonna glue, put a fair a lot of glue onto the back of this because we this is sort of like our secondary bond here to keep the pages from flipping around and moving um, and just gives you a little extra binding pages together. Don't be stingy on the glue. The glue is important. So now I've cut this little piece of paper that is one inch on each side and the size of the, of the signatures put together and I'm gonna glue that to just on the one side, on the binding side, to this piece of paper. And this is going to make it even more sturdy. We don't want those pages falling apart. Now we're gonna make the cover and I've cut two four by four pieces and then one little skinny piece, which is an inch long but it should be the size of your binder. So now we're going to, um, you're gonna to wanna to leave about an inch or three quarters of an inch around these pieces. And I didn't really measure, I just sort of eyeballed it. Cause we're gonna glue these pieces onto the paper and to make our cover. I like to do this in one big sheet because it looks nicer at the end. So now we're going to glue on our pieces. I'm gonna make sure that you have enough room and I was making sure that I got, you wanna keep that middle piece close. I didn't quite get mine close enough so I would maybe leave it about a quarter of an inch. Once you have everything drawn out, glue your pieces on to the backs of the paper and I'm using just a mat board here you could use cardboard you could use chipboard anything that's stiff and you don't need a lot of glue here I like to brush my glue out so it's nice and smooth here with a paintbrush And now we're going to make the, we're gonna trim these edges off at an angle so that we can fold them over and glue them onto the backs of the cardboard. Add your glue in. You probably want to put glue on the paper and on the mat board. Smooth it out and then just fold it over and use your bone folder to press the pieces into place. Once you have everything folded together, straighten that out a little bit. 
use your bone folder and squish everything down, make sure everything's adhered. And fold it a little bit, and there is your cover. So now we're going to take this, the signatures that we made with the paper, and we're going to glue it onto the cover. Do not put glue on the spine. You want to make sure that that stays flexible. We're just going to glue this to the back of the cover books. And I didn't show it in this tutorial, but I also added a small piece of paper there to the end to cover up those white spots that I had left over. And then you're going to glue the watercolor paper down to the spine or to the flat parts. And binder clips really help when doing this, I found. They are very, very, very important. I love binder clips. <laughs> 